So I'm driving super slow right now because I'm saving the batteries and there's not much sun. So I'm going to take a moment to explain what I'm doing. I'm marking out where I want to put my house today and maybe start digging a little bit, just messing around, trying to figure out some stuff. What I think I want to build, and this could still change a lot, is a dome, you know, because I always build dome, uh, 40 to 50 feet in diameter, so like 12 to 15 meters across, and like four stories tall, so like 35, 40 feet tall, it's like 12-ish meters tall. And the size depends on how it fits on the island, obviously. So that's what I'm going to find out today. Now the first floor, and obviously this, was, this is still up for negotiation in my head, but what I'm thinking right now is the first floor will have like a lane down the middle just for walking. And then on one side is workshop, and the other side is kitchen and living stuff. And then the second floor would be just a lane around the outside and the middle open. So the first floor would have a really high ceiling in the middle part. So there'd be this lane around the outside that would be a running track. And I would have to bank it a lot because it's a pretty pretty small track. It would be a tight curve. But with that bank and with that tight curve, it would be like running in heavy gravity with all those Gs. And then the third floor, it's a big wide open floor for gymnasium stuff. I'll have to mark off a Lego area, you know, stuff like that. And then no no fourth floor, just a just a big open ceiling on that floor. Looks like some of that grass I planted is doing pretty well. Oh, my tiny papaya, I think it's growing. Banana tree, that's definitely new. There's my center stick. And basically I have a big circle marked out around here. And it comes to here. Goes almost up to that tree a little bit this way. Comes down about to this tree. I could keep this tree, but I think I'll cut it out because it's all termite infested anyway. And a little bit this way from that tree. Yeah, right around here. 
Now, that's measured 40 foot diameter. And I think the width is good because I don't want to take out this tree and I don't want to take out my big mango tree over there. I don't want to go any further that way. However, I could go further that way and this way. Because I could go a little bit out here. Because I'm going to have to take a bunch of dirt out of here to level this. And it's going to build up this area down here. And then up at the top there... Oh yeah, this tree is going to have to come out regardless. Uh, that's fine, it's not that great a tree. Alright, you're a marvelous tree, but you need to go. Uh, but this tree is five feet past where I'm going. So if I went kind of right up to that tree, then that would put it 50 feet this way, 40 feet that way. And I can make an oval. Ooh. And the thing is, it's not going to go right up to that tree. Because by, by the time it gets to that point, that's going to be like the third floor. Because the first floor is going to be somewhere down here. Yeah, probably right, right about here. One... Wait, that'll be first floor, second floor, and then, yeah, third floor will be about there. So it kind of be nice to be able to walk into the third floor from up there. I can make a little entryway up there. So I can take all this dirt, move it down, level out a big circle, build a giant dome, fill in dirt behind it after making sure I seal it really well, and then I can walk right into the third floor or the first floor. Oh, that sounds kind of awesome. I might have to do that. Fire. You think you can go that way for a minute? I want to dig right here. This is about the right level, I think. Now do I keep digging here? Or do I go to the top part before it gets above my head? Because this is going to be above my head at some point. Ah! I think I just keep going. I can dig over my head. I think I'm going with a 40 foot diameter all the way. Just make it circular. Because I do like have an outdoor space. I don't need to always be inside. So it's like 12 and a half-ish meters? I don't know, I'd have to double check that, but let me just think about this. I mean, the first floor would have like a walkway down the middle here. That means from here all the way over to this stick over here, 
Good workshop. Oh, that's pretty good workshop zone. I put lathe here, milling machine right there. I can put the whole wood shop maybe toward the toward the entrance a little bit because I have to sweep out lots of stuff. Oh, I'll put everything on wheels so I can move it around wherever I want. Oh, that's even better. Oh, this is going to be amazing. And then way back over here, I got a kitchen where I'm like making pizzas and french fries. I have a nice window here so I can see out. And then it'll be a big door that I'll just leave open whenever I'm here. Oh. And then I got all that space back there. Oh, this is going to be awesome. And then second floor, running track, like right up there. Mm. Let me think. Yeah, that's pretty good size. I could definitely get some exercise on that. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, third floor is going to be a little smaller. First and second floor will be almost the same size. Then it'll start coming in more and more as it goes up. So the third floor will be maybe from here to the other end. Ah, oh, that's still lots of space. To, oh, this is great. All right, Jamie, you got some work to do. Oh, now I'm excited. <laughs> 